I'm fascinated by the dream world we live in, our dreaming, sleep dreaming, and that moment of pre-sleep when the subconscious mind whirls up. And I, my own personal feeling is that, and this is beyond religion or spirituality, is that this is all an illusion, Maya. Because my life has been such. Sitting here tonight, 40 years ago, I wanted to come to the actor's studio. None of it makes any logical left brain sense to me. There have been books written about it, Jung wrote about it, that there's something in us that we deeply understand, deep in our nature, deeper than anything we can even begin to comprehend. And that certain moments in our life we get little signals, little flashes. I had one moment when I decided to change my life. Little flashes that says, it's yours if you want it. And I don't know how that happens, but it's happened to me. So that's what I've tried to put into this movie about the dream-like nature of life. What do you think happens? I don't know. I think there's a superior consciousness in all of us that we touch into sometimes. I don't know if I believe in anything. I mean, I'm a deity, but I believe whatever that thing is that we talk about for centuries, I think it's just within us. I mean, things of remarkable things have happened in my life by, by just wishing or asking for something, for a bit of help, yes, it can. And I don't believe, I'm not a, I'm an agnostic, I guess. Is there, is there any way you can help me or whatever? And there's something inside us that will respond, I believe. I, be, I really believe that. We have to make our lives because life is tough. We have to believe in the power of life. My life in this uh, acting game has just been uh, one long drawn out surprise. I'm surprised that I'm still here, for example. Um, when I was a little kid, uh, starting off in the YMCA Port Albert, having no idea what I was going to do, because I didn't know what else to do, sure beats working for a living. But I used to jump on the back of those double-deck buses and hold onto the white pole. I never wanted to go inside. I used to love a swinging on the thing, you know, the wind in my face. And that's been a metaphor for my life in this business. There is no shortcut to happiness. You have to live your life and if it hits you, fine. But it's a morality tale. When I wanted, was younger, I wanted to be famous. It all happened. And it doesn't feel any different. It's very pleasant, and, uh, but I don't take it seriously. I take it all with a little grain of salt. We all sell ourselves to some degree, I think. I was told I sold my soul for Hollywood. Well, maybe that's true. I'm, I've been told that I sold out. The success doesn't necessarily bring you unhappiness. It can bring you a lot of happiness. It's relative. It depends how you handle it. And I think when you're younger, it's harder to handle. And uh, as I've been around for some years, I think I've got a fairly good balance, but maybe that's pride talking, but I, I feel fairly balanced. I've been around the city block a few times, and uh, you mellow out and you just don't take things too seriously. Do something new. You know, you've got to make, you've got to, you can't stay in your comfort zone. That's what we all do. We get to a certain age, we all stay in our comfort zone with our recliners watching television day in and day out. And um, when you get to a certain age, I'm going to be 70 at the end of the year, but I sit around watching television for the rest of my life because I've done it all, sitting on my laurel wreath. It's not worth it. I mean, life's so short. There's such glorious images in the world and such horror as well that I want to see it all. And so I've moved out of my comfort zone. It's um, essential for me. Otherwise, I may as well die. So I've done it. I've broken every rule in the book. And um, not out of malice or any telling anyone that I'll show you. I did it for to show myself. I've shown myself. I looked in the mirror and thought, I'll show you one day. And I've done something completely new. I wrote the music and I feel limitless. You know, anything uh, with faith, you can move mountains and uh, trust and let go and all that sort of thing, you know, and I used to just throw myself into it. And then the, when the negatives came to my mind, I would, uh, positive sounds in my head, you know, I'd say, I can do it, you know. And I, I used to meditate and, uh, visualize myself doing it. And I used to visualize myself on like a kind of, um, try and visualize myself doing those sort of fanning cards and springing them and, and gradually, surprising the power of mind, what happens, you know, your muscles begin to respond. It's like anything really, if you're playing the piano or driving a car, it comes through relaxation. 
And not to take life on its face value, that it's all a mystery and it's an illusion, and uh, that everything is random and there are no guarantees. And um, also, I don't know what to take. There's no message in it. I'm not meant to miss it. It's also, I know people are getting a strange intuitive feeling about the nature of it because they're talking about the subconscious mind, the nature of memory and dreams. The whole thing is a dream. Everything in it is a dream. And I'm not sure where the reality is. But when you look at our, our own lives, we, we don't know if there's any, we don't know what reality is. We don't know what life is. We don't know what time is. We could be dreaming in this at this moment. We don't know. That's how asleep the human race is. So our whole history has been one of a slumber. And sometimes it takes a little bit of, I wanted to wake people up a little, just pull the rug. Say, oh, this is a movie. Now we sit there and go, what? That's what I want to do. In your 79 plus years on this planet, what have you, what, is there a bit of wisdom that you can share with us that, it, that maybe something we wouldn't know because we've overlooked it or something that you really, among, above all else, you think you've learned that you can share with us? To keep going. Keep going. Never give up. I think that's really good advice. Too. Never give up. Because, you know, the, the thing is we get questions in our head and uh, little voices that put us down when we were kids and all that. So I get over that. That's what I've had to do is get over the, you know, whatever troubles. And just, I carry a photograph of myself in my phone when I was a little boy. And I was a little confused kid, as we all were. And I look at him and I said, we did okay, kid. <laughs> we did okay. That's a very high-tech like way of talking to yourself. Well, Reminds you, keep down inside. <laughs> I like that. Because life is tough, but you just got to get out of bed, get on and do it. My grandfather always carried his own luggage and all of our luggage, yeah. too. And we were always like, what are you doing? Put that down. But now I realize, like, that's what it is, right? That's what you got to do. He kept going. Yeah. you got to do it.